एवरीवन वेलकम टू चैंपियंस ऑफ आकाश तो ये जो चैंपियन है इनके एक छोटे भाई हैं तो ये जब भी अपने छोटे भाई के साथ बैठे होते हैं इनके पेरेंट्स बोलते हैं कि बेटा प्लीज दूर हट जाओ हमसे नहीं जेल में जाओगे एंड देयर इज मच मोर टू हिज स्टोरी देन दिस सो लेट्स वेलकम डी कादिरावन विद अ ह्यूज राउंड ऑफ अप्लॉज सो कादिरावन वी हियर दैट योर फादर्स an iit delhi professor yes. so why not engineering and why medicine yeah so um it's not like i hate maths or anything like i've always also liked maths along with science but like you know once i reached 10th i felt that i was more inclined towards bio and like yeah there was also this option of taking pcmb but the thing is ki like i talked to my friends and my seniors you know get an opinion ki what i should do and they suggested that if i have you know i even a vague idea ki what i in which field i wanted to do something then i should just you know de- devote my entire time into that so instead of taking pcmb i decided to take pcb and you know go on to become a, to work to become a doctor so who has been your inspiration in your journey yeah so in my case my inspiration is a little bit different i guess from what usually you know goes on in people's mind so um i guess it when i was in 9th and 10th i used to watch watch a lot of tv shows you know a lot of american dramas and things like that and there is this one particular medical drama which is called gray's anatomy which is basically uh, set in a hospital setting you know with surgeons and all yeah. and be- even before watching that i had you know this interest in bio ki bio mein hi kuch karna hai and after that i was like okay this is like this field seems really interesting this feels like something that i'll like i'll enjoy doing and you know i'll be motivated to do this for the rest of my life so i decided to pursue medicine So, what were your hobbies? What did you do to uh, divert yourself from that consistent sitting or uh, sitting for hours and preparing? Yeah, so like um, I used to go cycling. Like this is something I did both in eleventh and twelfth. So what I would do is, you know, like I'll come back from school, or like if it was online, you know, in eleventh I used to attend the classes, then relax a bit, you know, eat and all, study for some hours, and I guess it was around seven. I used to go out. and like since i live in the iit campus we have like a huge ground and basically the entire campus is very nice so i used to go out cycling and i used to listen to music and i did this for half an hour and like i feel ki that is something that needs to be there because you know like if you keep on studying the entire day uh, that like that extra amount of time you get while studying that is not really worth it because like you'll just get kind of tired and the stuff you're reading that won't enter your mind so like i used to at least allocate half an hour in between my studies to do cycling and all yeah. talk about akash's role in your journey how uh, when did you join akash and how has the journey been with akash yeah so um, i actually joined akash in 9th through the anthe exam okay yeah so i gave that exam and i enrolled in 9th and i was in a two year program 9th and 10th and then i enrolled again for 11th and 12th and i believe yeah akash did play a you know very major role because uh the thing is ki if you are just sitting at home you can study it's not like you can't do it at home alone also but the kind of exposure that you get in akash like that's not something you can get while you know sitting at home and you get these you know teachers who are like who teach you things which are very neat oriented like which are the things you require not just some general stuff you know like it's very specific and that's something i feel which was really necessary and apart from that of course the mock tests and all you know like that played a very huge role like it just I could feel by ma- marks escalating as I gave the test series. Yeah, so um, see, I knew I knew about Akash, uh, I guess in seventh or something, but I didn't know that Anthe existed till eighth. So there was actually a person from Akash who had visited our school, you know, to encourage the students to give Anthe, and that's how I enrolled in Anthe. And the syllabus is just the same, you know, like just the eighth stuff only. So like I was studying, of course I was studying eighth. So I just. like i just continued with that there were some chapters which were you know like not which hadn't been taught in school at that time so i studied that and i gave the exam and um yeah i scored some 90% scholarship or something like i'm not exact i don't exactly remember the marks but yeah i scored good and i got into akash all that years of hard work coming down to one exam how were you feeling right before the exam so something which happened to me i guess some two days before the exam was i started you know feeling ill fever and all headache etc etc so that was a really like it was a weird time for me to get sick actually like these two years i haven't been sick even once 
like and just two days before the exam this happened and uh, i was just you know i was just too tired to even start panicking like and i was like ab jo hoga hoga you know like i can't change anything like so i'll just be peaceful and you know just take the meds and see what happens so the day before even the day before the exam i was a bit ill sick mm. i went to the doctor etc etc and um, on the day of the exam i actually got a bit better i still took my meds and i went into the hall and see the thing is ki like once you enter the exam hall i think even if you are feeling a little bit you know tired or something like it just vanishes so like when i gave the exam i think i was in a uh, pre- i was in a good condition yeah so what was your state what was your state of mind when you were heading for your exam on the exam day so like i so what my teachers actually recommended me was that uh, like in, you know in the last i guess one two days don't like do too much studying or things like that because if i find ki like i don't remember something it will just like put me in a worse state so like on the last day on the day of on the day of the exam i didn't study anything like i tried to keep my head as empty as possible you know like i used to i just did things i enjoyed like i was reading comics and uh, i even listened to some music right before heading to the exam so i tried to be as cool as possible and i think it paid off How did you think that you you will attempt your exam? Uh, how did you manage your time and everything? So like uh, what I've always done is like I just go with the sequence given in the paper. Like I do physics, chemistry, and then bio. And the reason behind this is that uh, if I'm like I've tried doing bio first, but like I start panicking that maybe I'm spending too much time in bio and I'll not have enough time for physics. So what I do is I do physics and chemistry, and if it takes time, I just you know like I don't rush it because. like if i rush it then i'll make mistakes in numericals etc etc so i take as much time time as i need in physics and chemistry and then i think i can like compensate for that in bio because bio is like if you know it you know it like you know it's like that so i attempt it in this sequence uh were there any specific topics that you were concerned about uh, before appearing for the exam ke mujhe shayad ye nahi aata hai matlab in last month obviously people go uh, students go through the revision time and again time mm-hmm. and again so there were any topics that you were specifically concerned about yeah so like i think mainly in chemistry you know again because like see it's not like i didn't study it i just i think i studied it too much but like even then there are some you know some particular things you end up forgetting because in neat like they can ask questions from each and every line in ncrd and it's not possible it's not humanly possible to remember each and every line so like i used to think ki like you know that is something that i might make some mistake in that like in chemistry that was the topic and in physics there is this last chapter in uh, physics class 12 called semiconductors so um that was like something i was i thought ki if they ask you know uh, some some question which is out of the box then i might face some difficulty but fortunately there wasn't anything like that so we have some future neat aspirants here and they have some questions and queries uh, to ask so mm-hmm. let's open the stage to them yeah. yeah you gave subjective test of physics chemistry and biology after completing the chapter or at the times of board before boards no like you know like yeah i gave the uh, after completing the chapter i used to give subjective test because like in my school we had these you know like um class test you know like after each and every chapter so my subjective portion was strengthened uh, over the course of two years so it's not like i just did it for the boards uh, like i used to read the ncert a lot especially in physics like i guess people kind of miss out you know like reading the ncert in physics but like what i used to do was like i i i guess i didn't read it as much in 11th but by the time i reached 12th i realized you know like you have to know the ncert especially like in these parts where you end up missing it so like i used to read it frequently like uh, especially you know like in physics and chemistry i've read these chapters multiple times throughout the year so i just didn't do it for the boards but i you know like i was consistent with my uh, reading the subjective part for the entire course of the two years yeah. and how much time did you give in need individually to do all the subjects okay so see like the thing is ki i had see you will plan something before the exam but like more often than not you end up you know like thoda aage piche that happens so i had planned ki i'll you know spend some 45 minutes in physics like i do physics first so i had planned that but you know uh, in need you have all these other things like you know have to put your like fingerprint and you have to fill all these things so some unexpected things are also there so i end up like i ended up taking some one hour in physics and then after that like maybe some 40 minutes in chemistry 40 45 minutes in chemistry 
and after that like i spent um around 40 minutes in bio and the rest of the time i spent in revision because like see once you are going through the questions for the first time there are bound to be some mistakes you end up committing and us time mein like you won't even know ki you are doing that but when you go through those questions another time like that when you'll realize ki ha yahan pe kuch galti hui hai even some silly mistakes so i always make sure ki uh, i allocate at least half an hour just to go through the numericals and things like that again so that i don't end up committing any silly mistakes what was your least score in a mock test and how did you improve it so i think my least score was um 683 yeah so um and the major uh, mistakes that i made during the mock test was silly mistakes like it wasn't like i didn't know the topic because of course like by the end of those two years almost everyone is familiar with the topics but like they end up committing some error which is like either because a particular concept is weak or because you know they end up committing some silly mistake during the exam so for me like most of these mistakes were silly only you know like i used to like end up some committing some like stupid error while doing physics or things like that so i realized ki what was important was i i have a proper mentality while giving the exam because see like you have studied before the exam that all of that is fine but you need to have a proper mindset when you are giving the exam like if you are too tired or you know you are thinking something else or you have been studying for literally till the last minute before the exam then like you will you won't be able to focus like clearly in the exam so like i consulted my teachers and like it was my physics teacher who told me ki like you know i should just calm my mind before the exam meditate or something like that so i used to do that like half an hour before the exam uh, i would you know drop everything just sit and you know like not think about anything just sit for half an hour and after that i saw ki doing this improved those you know silly mistakes like some minor minor errors so yeah i wanted to ask whether should i study 11th along with 12th or only i should i focus on 12th so um what i did was initially i guess for half a year i didn't touch 12th uh, i didn't touch 11th i was uh, focused on 12th because like that was what was recommended to be by my teachers they said ki if you have done if you think you have like you know a solid grip over your 11th concepts then it is better you focus on 12th initially you know like just have a clear demarcation in your head first ki abhi 12th karte hain thodi din ke liye and after that once you're comfortable with the pace you know like because for me what happened was i did 11th online and 12th it was offline so like there was this like you know drastic transition for me and i had to get used to the routine of you know going to school offline and things like that so uh, initially i didn't touch 11th at all i used to do 12th and after some time you know i just started uh, like brushing upon those topics like some important core concepts which i might forget and after that i switched on to the more theoretical part you know like inorganic and all throughout your journey you might have had ups and downs you would have learned from your mistakes ke ye nahi karna chahiye tha ye ye karna chahiye tha so what would be your tips to the future need aspirants these are the things that they should take care of yeah so like of course the main thing that i would tell my need as like the future need aspirants is that they should like focus entirely on ncert because see like in 11th like as i said earlier also like there are lots and lots of materials and like people often get distracted and although the teachers also tell us you know after like basically after every class they used to tell us ki ha ghar ja ke ncert padh lena ek baar but what i used to do was like i thought ki yaar ncert ncert hi hai you know like i'll just do it later on or like it's not that important or i like you know things like that but uh, when i reached december like when we had that um ncert booster program like in akash so like i realized you okay like there's a lot of stuff in ncert only and i don't know that mm. so like this happened with me and also like all of my friends like and like one of my friend like he even got kind of sad ki like what i have been doing for like these two years like i have been focusing on the wrong thing so like this happens to a lot of people mm-hmm. and so like you know like whoever asked me like you know in these past weeks or months like whoever has asked me ki kya karna chahiye 11th mein so i just tell them ki devote your entire attention to ncert and at least make sure that like you know you are devoting as much time as possible in like you know strengthening your ncert first and after that you can go on to these other extra things Thank you so much for giving out these tips. I definitely know that they'll help a lot of neat aspirants, and I want to congratulate you, Kadiravan, scoring this well. Uh, I wish you all the very best for your future endeavors.